everyone. As always, thanks for coming to check out today's video. So the clip you just watched was a Ducati motorcycle driving through a neighborhood just outside of uh, Bradenton, which is in South Florida. And the software that you saw for it was uh, for a Lynx Up hardware GPS device that myself and the owner of uh, HPC Concealment installed into his Ducati motorcycle. And we did that a few weeks ago and that was on the last video I did. So if you want to check out my channel, you can see that video. So anyways, this video today is just going to be a review of the software that comes along with Links Up devices. It's a web-based software and it's also an app-based software for your smartphone devices. So we'll go ahead and check out those now and uh, yeah, I'll show you what those look like. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started with the new window and I'll just go up here and go to Links Up links up to website and here we are I won't spend too much time on the website just because you can go here and check it out and right now we're just looking at the software so I'm gonna go ahead and click the button at the top it says customer login I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my email address and my password and go ahead and tell it to remember me I'm gonna sign in and now we're on the home page one of the things that's nice about this software is uh, like other companies, it's a web-based software, so you don't have to download anything. So you can see right now that I've got three different devices associated with my account, and one of the devices are still at the Links Up headquarters. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that first. And uh, you can see from the map that this is, uh, you may recognize this map. This is Google Maps. And um, this is one of my favorite things about this software, actually, that they're using Google Maps. So. I'll go ahead and click on one of the devices. You can see that it's got a last reported date and a street location. And just like in Google Maps, you can click on the address and it will give you a street view of where the device is at. So right now you can see that it's showing you the device is at the Links Up headquarters, which is a pretty nice feature. All right, I'll go ahead and show you some of the other features on the mapping software itself. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here so we can get a better look at what the features actually do. Just like on Google Maps, you can change the map type. So we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna change this to satellite so you can get the image review of where the device is located. And I'll go ahead and zoom in a bit just to show you the functionality of the satellite imagery. And you can also change it to the terrain feature if that's what you're after. And I'll go ahead and turn it back on the street view. I'll turn on the traffic and let you see that the Links Up software will actually show you the traffic that's near your device, just like in Google Maps. I'll go ahead and show you some of the other features at the top. First, I'll click on reports. Right now, I have two devices that are driven around one's daily and the other's on a Ducati, which the Ducati's not driven very often. But you can see uh, the stats for my daily driver. Down at the bottom you can see there's acceleration, braking, and speed. Uh, there's some other stats in there as well. These are pretty useful if you, um, if you need a record of all your driving. Another thing that the program will allow you to do is you can actually download all the stats into an Excel file. Now, the next tab you have at the top here is alerts. I actually don't have any alerts set up on the vehicles, so when I click on the tab, you, there's no activity in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next one, which is maintenance. It actually thinks that uh, my car is due for an oil change because it's an OBD device that's plugged into it, so it can take a look at the computer and get a readout on that. I don't need one right now. Then you have setup. You can actually go in and uh, if your device is having any issues, you can troubleshoot them. You can get the program to troubleshoot it. You can send links up a message. And then the next tab or button that you have at the top is the help button. You can send links up a message or you can call them and that'll show you the, the number to call. All right, next we'll go ahead and take a look at the buttons on the left. Under alert settings, you can see there's three categories here. It's speeding, high speed, and idle. And basically you set these and whenever your car goes over any of those, it will either send you a message to your phone or even to your smartwatch if you have one of those. All 
Next you have user management. This allows you to add users that can control the alerts. Then you have group setup. This allows you to group devices together. This just covers where you can get the apps from. And for your developers, there is a tab in here for you as well. And finally, one of the last features I'm going to show you the software is probably one of the best features to it, and that is the route replay. So I'm going to go ahead and go grab one of my old routes, and then I'm going to put that in here and show you the route replay itself. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use the same route from the beginning of the video. Now, the way that LinksUp has this set up is, as you're driving around with your LinksUp device, your device is recording all of its geolocations. After it records them, it uploads them into the LinksUp server. So when you log back into the web-based software program, you simply click on your route and click play and it will replay the route that you drove. Alright, next we'll go ahead and take a look at the app. Now, the app has all the same features that the web-based program does, so I'm going to breeze through this kind of quickly. Now, I'm, I'm on Android, so I'm going to go ahead and load it up in the Google Play Store, and you can see it loads just like any app does. So I'm going to go ahead and click Install. Here's what it wants access to. That's fine. I'm going to hit Accept. And then I'm going to go ahead and log in and get it started once it pulls up. All right. Just like the web-based program, as soon as you open this up, it brings you into the map view and you can see all your devices. We'll go ahead and take a look at the devices that are just outside of Tampa, Florida. Here you can see some of the information it gives you right away, and here is all the devices on your account. And again, just like in the other program, it uses Google Maps, so you can get great satellite imagery for your, the location of your devices. And here you can see some more information about how fast it's traveling and the direction. And finally, I'll go ahead and cover what the alerts look like real quick on your smartphone device. So for Android, you get the notice at the top, you drag down the menu, and you click on the Links Up Alert. And here it shows you that I was on East Demo Drive and I hit the brakes too fast. Obviously, I don't need alerts for the car that I'm driving. I know when the brakes get hit too fast. So if you have this on a kid's car or you have it on an employee car, it could be a good option for you. So yeah, that pretty much concludes my review of the LinksUp software. As I've said in some of my other videos, I've used a lot of different GPS devices throughout my career, and this software has been, uh, it's, it's really good software from everything that I've seen. I really enjoy, um, I really enjoy using it even for my personal use. So I would highly recommend checking out LinksUp if you're looking at uh, getting a GPS tracker or a device, and if, especially if you're if you have fleet vehicles or you have kids, it's a great way to keep up with where not only where the car is, but also how it's being driven. Uh, I do want to give a big shout out to the owner of HBC Concealment. He is the one that actually helped provide the motorcycle that you see in the video. They make holsters. They're a phenomenal company. I would highly recommend going to check them out if you're in the market for a holster. So yeah, that pretty much concludes my video. As always, thanks for coming to watch. Uh, I do have some other news for Dark Metal if you're interested. Uh, Dark Metal will, I will now be uh, providing video content for a company called Ready Man. You can see I'm wearing one of their shirts already. Uh, Ready Man is a group that is started by a group of guys that were former special forces in the military. They got out and they started this company. They have also linked up with a few civilian folks that are some of the leaders of their industry. and. Uh, yeah, I would I'd recommend going to check them out. I'm also, the video content that I'm going to be providing them is going to be a bit more aggressive as far as security goes. It's going to be more active. And again, it's technical and physical security measures. So yeah, go check them out. And, uh, but I will continue to keep uploading videos onto this channel. So if you, uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.